If you are not getting yourself out there, you are being selfish. Because there is somebody out there who is suffering with a level of pain, a symptom, a disease, a condition, that you have a solution to in your back pocket. And until you get yourself out there, they're suffering. How do you acquire a new customer online? Do you send them to your storefront? Hey, buy my supplements. If I'm a visitor to your website, hold on, I don't even know you. You're selling me your adrenal supplements? What's going on here? But if I were to opt into an offer that's attractive to me, I receive a number of emails over the course of a couple days or a couple weeks, or as statistics show, it takes over 90 days for 85% of the, of the people who are interested in something to actually make a purchasing decision on that. So a lot of people are not gonna take action right away. How do you nurture those individuals over time? There's something I call the KLT score, which is know, like, and trust. The higher that score is, the less friction there is and the easier it is for you or the individuals to do business with you. How do you build up that KLT score? Educate. I've developed a whole model called Teach the Sell because I've realized over 10 years that's what I do. I teach and naturally I'm passionate about what I'm selling. It's just a natural extension to take people to the next level. And every single one of you has, I'm telling you guys, believe me, I've, I know a lot of very smart marketers that are in the fitness and health space. Some of them are a little bit suspicious in terms of credentials and credibility. Very savvy marketers though. What I can tell you that you guys have above any of them is your knowledge. And the ability to tap into that and to educate people and to teach people what you know is a huge asset. I went to school at the University of Toronto for kinesiology. And out of 100 students in my, in my year, I was the only one to go into business for myself. 10% of the other people went into physiotherapy and chiropractic. And the other 90% went into teaching. And to this day, a lot of them are having trouble finding teaching jobs because in Ontario and Toronto, it's such a competitive market and because of the unions and seniority and all that nonsense, a lot of younger teachers who are now obviously in their early 30s are not able to get a job that they went to school for. Meanwhile, I've created over 900 videos on YouTube. I've created several courses. I've created a multiple seven-figure business. I've written two best-selling books. I've been on Dr. Oz. I've been on pretty much any media platform you can think of and I didn't go to school for teaching. It's just, it's within me. And you guys are doctors, right? Which means to teach. We're naturally all teachers. And if you're not doing that because you think you have to have another degree or something else, it's just a massive disservice to the world. And that's really, really what I believe. If you are not getting yourself out there, you are being selfish. Because there is somebody out there who is suffering with a level of pain, a symptom, a disease, a condition that you have a solution to in your back pocket. And until you get yourself out there, they're suffering. Thank you.